Yardy Army Archies, and welcome to Medieval Engineers. Today, we're going to show you the essence of engineering in Medieval Engineer. The belt transmission. It is so awesome. It's going to be pretty much... It's, it's going to be like the repeater in Minecraft. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up here. <laughs> I'm just making things up. It's not like, Mama, I, my invention is going to be famous. And it wasn't even stolen from real technology. <laughs> so, what is a belt gear? Well, let's... Or a belt transmission. Well, it's a belt that transmits force. Rotational force in this case. So if we take a look, I rotate on the gear on on the my side, the right here, and the left one turns as well. It works in both directions uh, and from both sides. So it's it's very very versatile. So if we have we here we have a pretty straightforward left to or sideways transmission of power. Here we have a more practical solution or thing that it can do. Now these aren't perfectly diagonal, and you'll see over here in a second that it, this doesn't really care. Uh, but we have a turn wheel on the bottom here, and we have a rope drum on the top, and we basically have a very, very ugly crane. But it will work exactly as a crane if I turn this thing in the right direction. And this is really cool, this is what I love about medieval engineers. And I think we're gonna see more of this because that is, this is really the essence of a engineering game, of course. So this is a pretty cool thing. I think it's going to be used in many types of elevators and cranes. It is just a very versatile tool to have. So if we take a look at this, uh, you can see it's both diagonal. It's not like it's basically the worst possible uh, belt transmission that you could see in the world, and it's just working amazingly uh, you can see in the top there that it is uh, rotating really nicely it's it it's just really nice and another good thing is that the smaller you make the gear which is this is of course the smallest uh, the better it is you can see that this is one size bigger and it turns slower so it is possible that you can decide the speed with this I should have tested that before I said it. Let's test it. So while we're testing my theory here, I can show you how to build this. First of all, you take a piece of log or whatever this is called, wood, timber. Uh, and you place two of these next to each other. You don't have to place two, but it's good for structural integrity. You take a um, latch, catch, a catch. I think the name is catch, a catch block. And place on the top where you want the center of your gear to be. Then take a piece of timber on each side. Slap a turning wheel on one side. And you decide which size of a gear you want. Now the only thing you need to keep in mind is that these guys have to be in the same orientation. Uh, so uh, they need to turn in the same orientation. As you can see here, if you would rotate this and rotate it that way, it would not work. And they need to be the same size. That is also one of the uh, limitations of this technology. They have to be in the same size. Uh, and it's not like changing the size of one of them would turn into a um, conversion rate or anything. Because one revolution would still just be one revolution on the other side. So to connect this. Oh that actually connected instantly. Um, so let's redo that. You take the same sides and connect them to each other. Otherwise it will not work. So you take the left side. Connect it to the left side. And the right to the right etc. You saw what I did there. And then you turn. And you can see that it is actually slower. It looks like it's slower. Uh, it is slower, so you can determine the speed with the gear. So bigger gears are heavier and therefore will be slower. And if you take a look at this, the smallest gear, it's just going really fast. So you can decide your speed with the size of the gear. Uh, it's possible that... And uh, things like adding things behind will add more weight to the entire system and it will be heavier and heavier. So 
Maybe this needs more testing to find out exactly how everything works, but now you have the basics. Go ahead and go engineer, people. Go engineer. And I shall see you next time.